What's up guys? My name is Nick Davis and welcome to another fly tying video by 239 Flies. Uh, today we are going to tie the Legtastic Critter. It is a redfish snook pattern that um, has also claimed tarpon and uh, permit and bonefish. Uh, it's a badass little fly. Uh, it's super easy to tie. Uh, it uses a lot of the same steps and some of the same materials as a gangster crab and the gangster gurgler uh, and a lot of other flies that we tie. Um, you know, it, it kind of has that signature 239 flies look and flash to it. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's tie one. We'll start off with our Daiichi 2546, size 2. I also like to tie this fly in the uh, Gamagatsu SC15. Uh, it's a little bit smaller with that hook, but I mean, you can tie this fly all the way down to a size 6. I mean, it's not, it's one of those flies where you can really dress up or dress down. So. I got uh, some Danville 210 flat wax in bonefish pink. We're going to lay it down right here. I'm going to wrap all the way back to where the barb of the hook is, just past the straight portion of the hook. And we are going to start off with our orange. I messed this up earlier, so trim off. We're going to start with our orange medium cactus chenille. And tie that on. And we're going to put four or five wraps around the hook. Going to give our impression of some, uh, of an egg sack. Now what's cool about this fly and this kit is you can also tie the uh, Legtastic minnow with it. You just got to change a couple of different uh, materials. So, got our egg sack on there. We're gonna grab our pair of crustacean eyes, which we made up earlier. It's like the TV, it's like the cooking show where, you know, Mario Patale takes out a delicious lasagna right after he puts a delicious uncooked lasagna in. Mm -hmm. Lasagna, carbs, all right. Put these on here. Make sure they are separate but equal. That yeah, looks about right. Close enough for government work. Trim these up and lock them all the way down. Next, I'm going to use uh, Fox because I got this open and I don't want to. Um, open a pack of Arctic Fox, but this is Red American Fox. Uh, the kit comes with Arctic Fox. Same stuff. Same stuff. Um, aesthetics. Uh, Arctic Fox, the hairs are, the guard hairs are a little longer and you'll pull a little more of those out, but you know, it's one of those things where you can really kind of decide how you want it to look, how long you want it to be, how thick you want it to be. Doesn't matter, it's really up to you, your preference and your fishing style. So, tie that in. Grab the excess back here, pull up and trim. I like to pull up on it as opposed to back, that way I get that little ramp in there when I go to tie it in. Nice taper and thread just lays over it, just NASDAQ. All right, next we're going to take our Grizzly Flutter Legs. This is clear and uh, with black bar. And we're going to suggest some antenna, antennae. Antenna, antennae, just one pair of antenna, antennae. Trim those, right, just a little bit longer than the uh, Arctic Fox tail. We'll take our uh, Crazy Legs. This is clear and orange for the natural color, but your kit will have the corresponding legs, which I recommend, and you can always tell me to go to hell. I want these kind of legs in there, and I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, so you knock yourself out. Kudos for creativity. And we're going to tie these on the side of the tail, on the side of the grizzly flutter legs that we just tied in. So they're kind of coming off the side of the hook shank. Trim the back. And these we're going to trim a little bit shorter than the 
antenna, antenna eye, maybe about an inch and a half, just past the eyes, but just in front of the uh, tail. Next, we will use our tan medium Palmer chenille. Cut off about a two inch section. And we're going to tie that in right on top of the uh, thread that we laid down for the uh, legs. And just kind of pull that back. Take our hackle pliers, our loon dub and loop twister with the jaws, and start wrapping this over top of that mound. And just cinch those in. Medium crystal hackle instead of some uh, regular hackle. Uh, but for cost and efficiency and fairness to you, we're going to offer this kit with this crystal hackle. And we're just going to put a few black bars or black dots. And we're going to tie this in. Grab our hackle pliers again our jaws, and start palmering. We're going to put a few of these in there, maybe five, six, seven. I don't know, I'll let you know when we're done. Until it looks about right. But for now, that'll do. Now come in front of us like this and pull all these back. There we go. Nice. All right. Now, we're going to advance our thread forward to where we're going to tie in our eyes. And for this, we're going to tie in some bead chain. I'm going to use gold. Some gold bead chain. Where are my dummy scissors? There we go. Trim that off. Tie them in right about there. I'm going to leave room for a weed guard. Put a few wraps on there to get it in place. Then we're going to take our Loon Hardhead. You can use Zap Gel. You can use Loon Hardhead. Uh, anything that's going to cure by drying. But I like to use this stuff. It's non-toxic. And it replaces Messy epoxies, odorless, non-toxic. Yeah. Can't argue with any of that. So we'll tie this in. And just give us a little extra, a little extra bulletproofing. I guess we should make sure these are level. And they are. Move the thread back to just in front of the crystal hackle. And today we're going to use this EP half inch tarantula brush in white. Uh, there's a new product coming out from Hairline that I, uh, I've got some samples of that I really like. Uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors. It's a lot like the tarantula brush, uh, only it doesn't have a wire that's built it together. Maintain composure, remain calm. Pull that through when that happens to you. Happens to the pros too. Remember that wire I was telling you about? Reattach. I was doing a fly tying class up at uh, in Sarasota. Shout out Compound Board Shop, and uh, that happened to me. And someone looked at me like, "Oh gosh, you got to start all over." And I was like, "No, no, 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 no. Watch yourself. I hope you haven't been starting over this entire time. Let me show you how you combat that. You just reattach the thread, as we did there." Move the thread in front of your uh, bead chain eyes, just so it's kind of out of the way. And start wrapping this tarantula brush forward. We're going to wrap, wrap it pretty close together so it's bundled pretty tightly. Don't want a lot of space in between the wraps. Want it to be pretty tight. It's going to help keep the fly in better shape for longer and it's going to look better. 
And uh, we're gonna tie it off just in front of the eyes, like such. Put a few wraps over top of it, a few wraps in front of it. Take your bad scissors, your scissors you don't care about. Pull that forward. All right, now you can take your, before we go any further, let's tease these fibers out. You can grab your little loon, your handy little loon brush, which we've got on the site, or you can use your lice brush and get in there. Both do the same thing. We're just teasing out the stuff that, that uh, we took careful not to, took steps to prevent from getting cramped, but we failed. It's okay. I failed. Not the first time. Next with that weed guard, got some Mason hard mono. This is 30. Just going to flatten one end of it with the pliers. The reason we do that is just so it's easier to tie in and it's going to stay put. But you see how we got this nice little flattened portion now. Nice and easy to tie in, which we'll do now. Tie that in right on top of the eyes. Right in front of the eyes. Put a few wraps behind so that thing sticks up all nice and nice like. Put a little whip finish right behind the eyes. Little readjustment of that and trim. Now, if you got a few fibers that are kind of wrapped up in that thread, what you can do is you can pull this back. I got the fan on in here, so I got to be careful and just kind of singe your fingers. These lights are uh, hot, so we got them on. Trim that. Put a little thin candy shell over this. This is the Loon UV uh, Thick. I'm sorry, Thin. You can use the Flow, the Thick, or the Thin. You can even use the Loon Hardhead. You can even match the Loon Hardhead uh, color with the thread color. It looks really nice. You can be creative. That's what I'm telling you. Hit it with the light. Done with that. Now, you want to be a real baller? Get you that yellow brush, or get you that yellow Sharpie and that brown Sharpie, and you just come in here and just hit it a few times with the yellow. Take your brown, hit it a few less times, nice and lightly. Give it a little. TLC. Give them that nice little natural look. Don't go chasing waterfalls. And that, my friends, is how you tie the Legtastic Critter or the best mother flipping redfish fly on the face of the planet.